Don't mind me. I'm just I'm just looking because I can't go over the fact that Chimnal got rid of the Christmas specials. Oh Chimnal, what have you done? Hello everyone! Welcome back to the video and today I'm going to be ranking all of the Dog 2 Christmas specials from 25, I'm not 25, from 2005 until 2017. Before that low, I just want to wish you all a happy Merry Christmas. I know this year it's very different, it's obviously with restrictions all over the world due to the C word. It is a very different kind of Christmas but I do hope you all manage to have a good Christmas this year if that's in real life, if that's digital and yeah I just hope you all manage to have a good one and just think in one week's time we are going to get revelish of the Daleks, that's super exciting and hopefully we will get nor more ne normality in the new year so let's hope. But yes, let's get on and rank the Christmas specials of Doctor Who. So here we go, this has every Christmas special included up until 2017 so it's just Christmas specials because I thought I'm just going to keep it pure Christmassy and focus on them but yeah every Christmas special is included and let's get started. So first up we have a Christmas Carol so this special is quite disliked I've seen that with the recent watch along because it's really a disliked episode and I can kind of get why I guess it is a bit cringy especially with the child actor not gonna lie and I get why it's maybe not people's vibes but for me I really enjoyed it. It's basically just Doctor Who's version of A Christmas a Carol, the film. I agree with that. But to me, they've done a good job. It's very likeable. I like Christmassy episodes, so it worked for me. But I do get why it doesn't vibe with some people. But I think overall, it's a good Doctor Who special. It's not the greatest, but it is still a lot of fun. And I do really enjoy it. So yeah, I'm going to put it in the... the I'm going to put it in the Fantastic. Because it is, it is really enjoyable and I do enjoy watching it. Next up we have The Snowmen. So this special is quite underrated in my opinion. I think, especially with these Matt Smith specials, they are very underrated in my opinion. But yeah, The Snowmen, I, I remember, really enjoy it. I think, we do get the blessed Clara in this episode. I think this Clara, the Victorian Clara, is the most developed from Series 7. I really wish she stayed on. I really liked her. It was a shame she got killed off, although it did set up a good mystery for Series 7 Part 2. It was good as well to see the great intelligence come back for the first time in the new series. I think Richard E. Grant do, done a really good performance in that special. I think the snowmen as well. The snowmen were quite creepy, a good concept for the show. And also as well, the 11th Doctor, Matt Smith, gave a really good performance this episode. Yeah, he was darker, but it worked after Amy Rory's death, and yet yeah, it was a good special. So yeah, another fantastic special, I would say. Better than Christmas Carol. So yeah, put it there. Next up, we have The End of Time. So, again, another kind of, this one's overrated. People say it's overrated special. I kind of get why it is, you know, it is a bit doom and gloom, this special. I think with The Tenth Doctor, I do personally prefer The Tenth Doctor. We get more to the start of The Tenth Doctor's era throughout basically, you know, basically series two, three and four. But I think that's kind of the character development route they decided to go down. And I think it did work, especially with the regeneration. I know people say the regeneration is too doom and gloom, it's too upsetting, it does give it a hard job to Stephen Moffat with 11th Doctor Matt Smith when 10th Doctor has literally said he doesn't want to go. I get that, but for me, I, I kind of think it works because I don't think every Doctor has to be optimistic. I think the 10th Doctor feeling like it feels like death. I could get the doc one of the doctors thinking like that. It just depends on your view, and it is an emotional departure that does hit me in the heart. So yeah, I think overall it's a good special. We also get Wilf as a guest companion. That's awesome. We also get the return of Johnson's master. I do personally prefer the more crazier master we get and the darker one we get here. I do prefer the series three version of Johnson's master, but still, I think the master is good here. And yeah, obviously get the return of Gallifrey, the Time Lords. Quite a lot happens in the special, so it's good. And yeah, I would say. Again, it's another fantastic special, probably better than A Christmas Carol, yeah. So another good special of Doctor Who. Next up we have The Runaway Bride. So I love this special. Now I get why people dislike it, again a lot of people dislike these specials don't they? But I do get why people dislike it because with Donna Noble, she's definitely, in my opinion it's good we didn't get this Donna Noble in series 4 because I think here 
They do use Catherine Tate's comedy more to her strength here. It is more of a comedy character with Donna and it, they leave her more serious side until series 4 and I think that's a good decision and I'm glad we got the more serious Donna in series 4. But here, just judging on the special, I love Donna here. I think she's so funny. I love Catherine Tate's humour that she brings to the role and I really laugh out loud at her character and how she gets along great with the 10th Doctor. So yeah, I think this special is absolutely fantastic. We do get some Christmas elements like the robot Santas, the evil Christmas tree. I like that. I like having those Christmas concepts brought to the show kind of in an evil way. I didn't enjoy that. And yeah, I thought the special was really good, although I do get why people dislike it. So yeah, it's definitely going in the greatest because I think we go there. Obviously the internet doesn't agree with me. But yeah, I think this Christmas special, very underrated. Obviously get the, what is it, the Ragnos and the Christmas star. Yeah, it's, it's a really good special and I do really enjoy it. Next up, we have The Time of the Doctor. So again, this is a special that a lot of people don't like. This seems to be a, a trend here. Maybe it's saying something. Maybe Chibnall has made the right decision. But yeah, The Time of the Doctor is very... Uh, people say it's very um, basically rubbish. People don't like it. But for me, I love this special. I think Matt Smith, the love of Doctor, gave a fantastic performance. I think it works really well for his final story. Just him having to look after loads of kids. Like He's obviously a very childish Doctor. It works well. And I just think the regeneration itself is... Perfect. I like the 10th Doctor's Regeneration, but this is probably my favourite regeneration from the new series. I just think it's optimistic, it's positive, it's also quite sad, quite emotional, hits me also in the heart. It's a fantastic departure for the 11th Doctor. Yeah, it's very crammed, it's got a lot in there, but I think the answers we do get for the Matt Smith era are pretty satisfactory. And they're mostly good answers and they do make sense and yeah for me this was a good conclusion to the Matt Smith era. I had a great Christmassy vibe that I like and yeah it's definitely Probably my favorite, second favourite Christmas special so far from this list after Runaway Bride. So yeah, I'm again going to put it in the greatest slot. Next up we have The Next Doctor. So this one's a, a special that I've never really liked. I think the reason for that is the whole Next Doctor thing. I think it works, but the problem is it's solved way too quickly. It's like 20 minutes into the episode and then it's pretty much revealed that Jason Lake isn't a Doctor, isn't the Next Doctor. And then after that... It's pretty much just forgotten about and then the 10th Doctor goes on and saves the day and it's pretty generic. So yeah, I, I do like it. It's not that it's necessarily bad. It's got the Cybermen in it and I love the Cybermen. But I just feel there needed to be some more oof to it, you know? It didn't really stand out as much as the other specials. So for that reason, I'll put it in the OK section because it's not necessarily bad but it is quite forgettable if I'm honest. Next up, we have The Doctor, The Widow and The Wardrobe. So this is definitely my least favourite Christmas special. The reason for that I just think it's too cringy. I recently watched this episode, I can't remember when, it was during lockdown I'm sure, and I didn't like it at all. I do remember liking it as a kid and I do like the companion who's played by the actress um, from Outnumbered. I like her role in the episode, but I think for the most part it's very cringy. The children actors, not gonna lie, they're not great. And it's also quite boring as well. I remember for a lot of the episodes they were just running about the kind of Narnia land. Yeah, it's kind of Doctor Who's version of Narnia, I get that. And, and it does work to a degree, but I think the problem is it's not very action-packed, it's quite boring. I remember them running about for a long period of time with tree men and have to put something on a tree man. Yeah, it's an okay special, but it's it's not okay actually. It's quite bad, it's quite boring, and it's quite cringy. So for that reason, I'm going to have to put it in the bad slot, I'm afraid. And yeah, it's my least favourite Christmas special so far. Next up, we have Twice Upon a Time. This one's it feels very unnecessary. And I think that was kind of on, I guess on purpose really, because Stephen Moffat has openly said with Twice Upon a Time, he only really did it because he wanted Chimmel to keep the Christmas special. And because Chimmel wouldn't start with a Christmas special, he decided to extend Peter Capaldi's era with Twice Upon a Time. And you can kind of feel that, it doesn't really feel that necessary. And also as well, I really don't like the first Doctor in this. Nothing to do with David Bradley's performance, I think he does, he does a great job, but I think the problem is, they just made him way out of character. Like, I get it with the going with the whole sexist thing because, you know, 1960s Doctor Who, 1960s vibe of being, you know, kind of different views back then. I get that. Fair enough. But I feel it didn't really work just with the first Doctor's character, especially towards the end of his era. It just wasn't really like that. So, yeah, for that reason, I'm going to have to put it in the OK section. It has got some good moments. I do like the 12th Doctor's generation. But overall, I do think Peter Capaldi gets a better departure in Twice Upon a Time, and I'm quite sad that he kind of got this episode and didn't leave into, in, the, I mean, the Doctor Falls. It was a better ending for his character. So yeah, I'll put it, it's probably better than the next Doctor, just by a slight margin. 
Next up, we have uh, Last Christmas. Yep, that's what it is. Last Christmas. Um, this special, I think, it's it's okay. Again, it's quite a forgettable special. It's not one that I tend to revisit. Uh, for what I do remember, it's quite of a darker Christmas special. It's definitely got a dark vibe to it. Probably the darkest we've got. And maybe that's one reason I don't really revisit it. I think it depends on what you like on Christmas. Do you prefer a more cheery episode? Do you prefer a more darker episode? I do remember this episode feeling a bit too dark for me, it didn't really have the right vibe that I like on Christmas. So it is okay, but I feel it is quite forgettable. It's quite similar to the next Doctor where it is okay, but it does feel quite forgettable. So yeah, I'm going to put it in the okay section, probably below the next Doctor. It's a bit controversial, but yeah. I also didn't like as well how Clara stayed on. I did like her in Series 9, but I felt it was a bit of a cop-out as well, just having her last minute kind of stay on. I feel it was, again, quite obvious that they kind of planned Clara's departure and then, like they did in Death in Heaven, they changed it last minute like that, so yeah. Next up, we have the first Christmas special, which is the Christmas Invasion, all the way from 2005. 15 years ago. Insane. But yeah, the Christmas Invasion, I really like it. Obviously, I can't rank it really as high as the other specials because the 10th Doctor, the, the Doctor just isn't in it that much. He's kind of sleeping, which I think works because obviously you're waiting for Series 2 to really introduce his character to the show. I kind of get the suspense. It works well. But I do still like the special. I do like it obviously being the first Christmas special. A lot of nostalgia there. I do like the Christmas elements being turned evil, like the introduction of the Santas, the Christmas tree, you know, Jackie Tyler versus Christmas tree. Who doesn't want to see that? I do like that. I think the cigarettes were good villains. And obviously we get the big moment near the end of the episode where we do finally get to meet the 10th Doctor. I do think it's quite nice just having a focus on Rose Tyler. It's probably one of our best episodes of the moment. Obviously having a bit more focus on her and her dynamic with Jack. Jackie and Mickey as a trio. So I do like it. It is a Christmas special and yeah, I do really enjoy it. So I'll put it again in the fantastic section. Probably the lowest of them all so far in that section, but I do really enjoy it. Next up, we have the Husbands of River Song. So this one, kind of similar to Dr. Widow in the Wardrobe, but I'm sorry, I do find it a bit cringy. I think the reason for that is they drag the joke on too long with the Doctor not, you know, I mean River not remembering, not knowing the Doctor. I feel it starts off well, it's a good joke, but when it lasts for literally like it's like half the episode, it's like half an hour of the episode, it goes on a bit too long, it does start to drag down. But it's got some humour in there, I do like, obviously, obviously I love the scenes at the end with the Doctor and River and on that planet where, you know, they have that final goodbye to each other. Beautiful scenes, I really like that. I also like the introduction to Nardal, I feel people dislike it, but I do think Nardal works here. Matt Lucas, kind of similar to Catherine Tate's Donna. For a comic relief character, it does work well in this one special. So yeah, it is an okay special, it's got some good moments in there, and yeah, but I wouldn't say it's the best. But I put it in a good section, So yeah, because I do like the ending, especially with the River and Doctor, and it has got some good humour in there. Next up, we have the return of Doctor Mysterio. So, again, another special that people really don't like. I'm going to be honest, I love this special. I think it's great. And the reason for that is a whole superhero vibe. It's obviously Doctor Who's version of a superhero film. I get another trend for these specials. But I think it works well. I think it's a nice, different feeling rather than just focusing on Christmas. It was a nice change up. It works well. Yeah, the acting isn't the best at times, I agree. But overall, I like Doctor Who's version of a superhero film. It is quite cringy at points, but I kind of like that. It's not cringy overlord like the Doctor would on the wardrobe. So yeah, I get why people don't like it, but I think overall it's a good Christmas special and I do really enjoy it and it is kind of cheesy and I like that. So I'm going to put it probably in the fantastic section. I'm, I'm sorry, but if it makes you feel better, I'll put it right at the bottom, so it's not too bad. And finally, we have Voyage of the Demand from 2008, which I'm sure is the highest ranked Christmas special. Maybe it's end of time, I might be wrong about that. But I do, obviously this is a very action-packed special, it's got Kylie Malogue in it. People complain about her acting, I don't know why, I think her acting is actually really solid here. I think people need to be less harsh than that, I don't really understand that. But I think it's an action-packed special, obviously it takes place on Titanic. It is basically just an action-packed feature-length movie. Wouldn't say it's the best special, but it is quite fun, you know, it is, you know, quite a, a it's, like I said, it's action-packed, so it kind of takes up an hour, and yeah, I wouldn't say, I do think it's a bit overrated, I wouldn't say it's the best, but it is a good hour of television, and I can't really complain. So yeah, and I do like the angel robots, they are quite good and quite creepy, kind of, I guess they take over from Santa robots, so yeah, I do like that. So I will put it in the fantastic section, probably better than the return of Doctor Mysterio, yeah. 
I feel that's very controversial. I think my whole list is controversial. But yeah, guys, that is my complete ranking for the Christmas special. So my, from my least favourite to my favourite, we have The Doctor that went on the wardrobe, Last Christmas, The Next Doctor, Twice Upon a Time, The Husband of River Song, The Return of Doctor Mysterio, I'm sorry, The Voyage of the Demand, Damned, whatever you call it, The Christmas Evasion, A Christmas Carol, The End of Time, The Snowman, the Time of the Doctor, and my favourite Christmas special, The Runaway Bride. That's definitely controversial, I know that. Please don't be too mean in the comment section. But yeah, I feel overall the Christmas specials, quite surprised you. There are actually quite a lot of them in the fantastic section. I did feel that more of them would be in the okay section. But overall, I'm quite surprised. But yeah, I guess that's a good thing with these rankings, is it can kind of show you the kind of overall opinion of specials and how much I actually might miss the Christmas specials. For legit reasons. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know your own rankings. Share them on Twitter. Love to see them at BBC William Who. And yeah, guys, I hope you have a great Christmas, a good New Year. I know it's tough this year, but I'm sure I'm hopeful that things will get better next year. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Take care, and I will see you on the next video. See you later.